So let's go ahead and start this war off now. Take out the Chinese, and after our first uh, wave of guys goes after them, we can build a few more. We'll have a, a good bit of production going, then we can go and uh, upgrade with coal power plants and whatnot, and I pray that we have coal in our lands. If not, we'll be sure glad we attacked our neighbor. Denunciation coming through, and then when that's ready, we'll just get as, as least grievances as possible. Another night completed in Stoke upon Trent. That's four of these guys now. I think we need maybe one or two more. I would like to get the Venetian Arsenal in here. Dude, it just means every time you make a unit from now on, you double the number of Navy units you get out of that. Oh, we don't even have enough iron to make a knight? Are you serious? I'd say let's get started on the campus, but I need Handan under my control first, or maybe even Shanghai so I can place it in this nice little cove of mountains. So screw it, let's get to work on this Venetian Arsenal. We'll see how it goes. I would think with the great people too, we should be kind of close to our next great engineer. Yeah, 10 turns out. And what's this guy do? Culture bomb, adjacent tiles. Okay, well, we've already completed our industrial zone, so that guy's not useful to me. Would have liked just a regular, your wonder? He has 400 production. Oh well. Machinery, we've got the siege tower. We've got the archer getting upgraded. We've got the siege tower becoming, battering ram becoming a siege tower. That's way better. And a new great admiral. This guy does renaissance and industrial era, but best of all, it's going to give me a sea dog, aka a privateer for myself here. Look at that four era score. Plus has got a promotion. What are we going to give you? I say we go with loot, more gold from the coastal raiding. I love to do that sort of thing. Liverpool has built another trebuchet man, and it's time to get the encampment going. It's just got a building to build. Encampment gives me housing, which is currently capped. And with these guys making so many military units for us now and in the future, it's going to be really nice with those guys that have just better promotions all around. Makes Theology sense. unlocked. We can change policies. I see a new war has gone down. Monsa Munsa on Young Lei. So now Young Lei is fighting both these guys from the south. I see the Aztec man at arms already in the sea, probably going after Beijing. Not to mention, hey man, the Kree are still at war with Young Lei as well. So it'd be surrounded on all sides. Not too well on the loyalty front either. Taiwan taking a beating because I believe, okay, where do I see? Oh yeah, right here. Young Lei in the Dark Age. Now let's get our policy cards correct. Okay, professional army, definitely an attractive thing to have, but I really, really need raid right now. And I can't give up this 16, um, and this 16 production from the Craftsman card. So when Naval Tradition's up, then I can improve all these galleys and they can help. But the Chinese don't have much of a navy anyway. Okay, can we complete in Liverpool? Let's go barracks because we want stable in the other place. Oh, and look at this. Back to the faith front now. It looks like Confucianism has taken on... Oh, Confucianism is just in China, but Sikhism is actually alive and well too. I thought it was just Confucianism in all of this, but I'm glad to see that a couple civs have got a different and Islam down here. I just don't want um, the Persians to get their hands on this Catholicism and run it everywhere. Alliance has ended. No, 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 no. Cleopatra, come back here, bud. Friendship. Cultural alliance. There we go. Gotta keep our friends close, man. Because it is finally time to declare on these Chinese, man. Formal war. Let's get started, bud. Yang is a scary competitor in these tall games, man. Those big cities. He's not hit any past 10 pop yet, but when he does, he gets crazy buffs. Crazy buffs. Anyways, we'll get started. Looks like we got a crossbow and a quadrireem to deal with. The thing is... Don't really want to mess with that crossbow. Um, kill this guy. Nice. Oh, and we got part of his vessel too. Too bad it's going to get killed. The thing is, the only way I could get both of these guys is if I shot at the crossbow with the sea dog and the galley going in there next to a city. Not smart, especially when I got cartography coming up in just like two turns. Let's let these guys chill out back here and we'll upgrade them to Caravel. They'll be too strong to hold back. Now here, trebuchet on Shanghai. Fortification health at 100. Same down here in Hundun. Is that correct? So whatever I'm experiencing here should be pretty similar to the south. Minus 18 on those defenses. Wow, 20% of the damage already completed. Let's send this musketman into the fray. He's getting a boost here from Tamur. Is that correct? Medieval and Renaissance era unit. I believe that is my man here. We need to get the siege tower in there with him. Okay, and if I went for a straight up fight, I would actually do decent damage against the city without taking too, too much. But the smartest play here is to get my trebuchet into position. So we'll send him onto the hill. There's one... And then a second trebuchet coming up real close. A third. And the rest of these musket people. Yeah, we'll put you in the sea. Man, once these are caravels, we'll actually be able to fight from the sea, surround this place, Handan, with musketmen, with knights. And since our caravels there are taking the brunt of the damage from the garrisons, we can actually uh, keep them there and do some stuff. Look, pillage 318 gold on that Great Wall of China. Dude, they got so much Great Wall, and I'm going to be pillaging all of that. You better believe it. They won't be surprised that people have started to frown their faces at me. Let's just have it goes. And it looks like I probably will, yeah, lose the quadrireme. I am looking to do some pillaging with the sea dog, though. One, two, three, 
free, and then can I still pillage stuff? Coastal raid, what is this? A government plaza, let me take that. 159 culture, I didn't even see how much gold I got out of that, but I got a whole naval tradition, and I can change my government right now if I'd like to. Let's get the artillery fire going down on the city. Next trebuchet, you come on up. Ranged attack, there we go, so he's down to half the defenses now. And this Moscow man ought to start doing some damage here. We got plenty of backup. So it's okay if he loses some health. In Shanghai, it's the same story, man. We might actually flood through these walls quicker than I thought we would. So let me get a couple knights in position to take advantage. And we got to keep raiding here. Okay, but we also want cheaper upgrades on all these guys. So professional army. Bears complete in Liverpool. Onto the armory. Man, this city is just so strong. Just burns through all these building projects. Oh, here's that Heidelberg that the whole uh, emergency was about all that time ago. Didn't end up so well for the French. They were utterly destroyed. Here comes the fight and going after my musketmen. It's not gonna work, buddy, it's not gonna work. We got cartography now. It's two strongest galleys getting improved. One, two, three galleys. Now caravals. And even the sea dog can join the fight on the city. 11 down on the defenses. Let's get the artillery doing their stuff. 13, and like I was saying, dude, I can get this musketman cruising here. Shoot. And usually when your units are in the sea, they're sitting ducks, man, any kind of range attack. But in this special case, because it's sitting underneath the sea dog, it's actually going to be okay. We can do some maneuvering too. Get the knight in here. Take a shot. Oh, I should have pillaged. I'll do that next turn. Trust. Oh, no. I knew these Germans were going to come after me, man. I knew it. That's why I went and sent that dude back here, the great engineer. Give me some walls. Not even surprised, dude. Not even surprised. Funny enough, it seems like the Persians are my closer friend now compared to these dudes. Anyways, like I said, sitting ducks in the sea. This skirmisher, big damage. 93 health gone. The Germans have a somewhat formidable army, though. Let me get a couple knights back here to try to deal with this. Maybe even a musket men, too. And before they get back there, man, we need some reinforcements. We got some more musket men here from Liverpool. You gotta remember that city now has the barracks in there, right? Yeah, let's set a second knight back, and then we can just use the musket men for our attack. They have better combat strength, anyways. Unbelievable that these Germans attacked me, though. Should've just made friends with them. Oh, well. Not much going on from the Chinese. What about these Germans? What are they gonna do? Special World Congress. City-states yielding. Um, I know it's religious, because that's the only ones I've seen. I just sent towards districts and what? I don't really have much of an opinion here. I guess industrial zone, but I feel like city center is what the AI will vote for. And then I can get myself a diplo point. See what happens. City center, nailed it. Religious, scientific state, nailed it. That's two diplo points. And it looks like the Germans just chilled here and did nothing. That's good enough for me. I should be able to get some good work done here on the Chinese. 324 gold, a couple trebuchet shots, a sea dog, and that should just about be the city. One and two. Handan belongs to me. Nice. And not only that, but because we've got this special district, whatever it's called. Uh, let me hover over this guy real quick. The Warlord's Throne. Now all of our cities are getting boosted production. And what do we do with that production? Well, Stoke upon Trent, you're going to place a campus. Oh, Handan, can we trade? We can't trade just yet, can we? Anyway, Stoke upon Trent will put a campus right here. It's going to be a really nice one. While Handan uh, tries to remain mine. Plenty of loyalty to go around. That's good to see. Did the Chinese move? I'm kind of confused. Um, 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 Musketman, you're fine. You just chill here, buddy, and heal up. Sea Dog will protect you. Go with a range attack. Uh, let's bring Chebuchet in. Walk and shoot. Another one. Then finally, this knight, uh, we'll go with Charge. He's gonna do some real work next turn. Okay, big damage on the defenses. We can get the knight all the way through, but maybe we'll wait just a single turn. Hold off. Germans have warred me, but seem terrified to my borders. They're all in theirs. Staying safe, I presume. Shipyard finally completed in Birmingham. Let's go with the university. Now up to 30 production in this city. That's strong. And I'm about to go on some offensive action around here. These guys just can't come into my land, chill out, do nothing. <laughs> come on, dudes. So you gotta war me. Special Congress. Oh my goodness. You gotta be kidding me. None of this. None of this. Dude, everyone's... Okay, everyone's at war with Young Lei. There's no chance. Okay, two people said yes. Just the two people at war with me. Everyone else... No, 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 no. Not that surprised. Again, literally everybody already at war. With the Chinese, so what do you expect? Let me move my crossbowmen here. I believe the great the man at arms cannot get to me because it's on a control, so I can just take pop shots at him for free. I can leave my knights here. That man at arms is the only formidable guy in my way. Everyone else, not scared of them. Okay, let's get to work on clearing out some more of these Chinese. I don't like catapults because they hurt ships big time. There we go, two error score. One of my great generals just won a battle. That's great to see, guys. Here in Shanghai, I think we're about through what this trebuchet can do for us. We're gonna have to send the melees in all at once. Okay, there's some health on them. Let's get this great general moved up. I got a knight coming through. Apparently this guy can go all the way to the city. That's pretty crazy. 
Let's move you this far. You could pillage some gold, but let's keep moving you up. Yep, yep. See, the city seems to be mostly surrounded. I get another knight in here. This musket man's gonna have a little bit more trouble getting around. I think I go with a quick pop shot here with the knight. Is that smart? I don't know. Let's just fortify, hold up. I think it's better just to <clears throat> do a little bit of pillaging here while we can. Ooh, what just went down? Okay, that was fine for me. It was a musket man of the Aztecs got one-shotted by the crossbowmen. Like, keep in mind, it wasn't full health, but just never like to have my guys sitting in the sea. It's mad dangerous, especially when they can shoot you. Don't like that. I like it when I can finish them off in one go. There we go. One shot the guy, get out, you're safe. And then over here, we can pillage some faith. We can pillage a little bit of gold. Trebuchet can continue to fire. Should I do that though? No, you back off, promote. Um, crew weapons, so we're getting some more damage towards the city soon. Let me get my musket men through this little choke point. We got a great person too, who's this? One great engineer, that's a culture bomb guy that's not that useful. And then the great writer. Wow, we're really doing well on a few things here. Let's get the writer to yeah, do his good. great work. Well done. And then this guy can just activate his effects no matter where you do it. Shipyard complete though in London. And okay, spies look good. Another thing that looks nice is, you know what? I'm gonna skip the spy here. Let's go all the way down to, where is it? Quadrireme. This thing costs literally zero to make. Um, and then we're gonna upgrade them by paying some money. Cause dude, once we have frigates, we're gonna own these seas, absolutely. Shanghai now under siege. It's not gonna be getting that health pack every single turn, which obviously is super nice. Let me see if I can do a trebuchet walk and shoot. Walk and shoots are nice, another trebuchet can fire. Then this third guy's just chilling at the back. Chilling at the back, man, look. Look at the sea dog, he just cruise in one little time. Let me do a quick coastal raid on you. 50 gold on top of the 324. Oh, that used up all his movement though. That's interesting, usually a pillage costs three movement, but I would get how coastal raiding, you know. Might take a little bit more time to get off your ship and take all the guy's stuff. We'll do some more pillaging here in Shanghai, but ultimately it's the city that I want. Can we take it this turn? We'll just have to wait till next, that's fine. Over on the German side, these guys are just scared. Right? With the Muscomen complete in Liverpool, I feel like we are safe enough. And you know what, maybe we go off to the Germans next, man. Where are they coming to war at me? It's kind of crazy. Let's see if I took a pretty good hit by the city. Let's coastal raid again. And yeah, that takes all his movement. But that's 400 gold. 400 gold is big time, buddy. Let's get Shanghai. Free cities. Any more pillages to do? Yes. 126. You come here. Do another pillage. 324. And the city's ours. Aztec's like, hey, bro. You do exactly what I do. Conquering. Okay, square rigging advance. Kalina with the Muscovin. Shanghai's falling pretty fast. 8.3 per turn. Let's get Magnus in there ASAP. Level that out back down to zero. That's not too bad. Definitely going to keep this city, man. Uh, now it's gaining at 4.3. That's awesome. Awesome to see. And I mean, next we could get Jian and Yi Yang quite easily, but they're just in the middle of nowhere. It doesn't seem that enticing to me, you know? Like, what's that really going to get me? I could do some sweet pillages over there, but actually taking the city, don't really care that much about it. This man at arms trying to escape. No chance. Let's get to war on these bastards. Take them, take them. So many crossbowmen, but these knights are too much of a hard counter for you, dude. Now in Beijing, the fortification strength is higher. Okay. Let me get a trebuchet in here, nice and close. Next trebuchet. I need the great general ASAP. Um, and siege tower, you gotta get close to the city. Got a few units that need a little bit of healing, but like this musk man back here. Dude, he should be in the fight already. Like, what are you doing? I wanna get all my siege dudes near the city of Beijing. Don't care if I lose a couple guys. Because what we really need in the end is just this city right here. It's so key. Yeah, look at that. The sea dog barely surviving. But he does. But he does. What's this? Great work for great work. Uh, pass, I guess. Square rigging. Square rigging. This is huge. We went from one sea dog to now. We've got this quadrireme over here. We can upgrade this guy. We need more niter, apparently. Don't quite have enough. There might be a blessing in disguise because it lets me build another one of these quadriremes. Wait, no, forget. Yeah, quadrireme three turns. Buddy, I got a great plan for this one. Trust. Um, caravels, no real use for you other than head over here to the harbor and do some pillaging for me. One caravel, two caravels, and I guess we can send one of these great generals over there too. Then let's clean up these Germans. Now one and two. Crossman goes into the sea, and that's a good bit of damage onto the warrior. I think it'd be a lot more. Not sure why he's not getting destroyed being in the sea. Oh, well done. Oh, why'd I pillage the road? <laughs> Dude, the pillage, I was like, oh, fire and destruction, that makes sense. It's not what I wanted to do there. Oh well. We'll get the knight up close and personal with the city. With the siege tower so we can do big damage. It's not going to do that much actually. And look, they've got a privateer sitting in the city. Oh buddy, I might have bit off more than I can chew. Let me make sure that I got my general in range to do some support. And I'll get more trebuchets to come up the rear. It's not looking too great though. Not looking too great. They got a lot of guys defending this city. 
Which we're gonna complete though. Next is industrialization, dude. We're gonna have factories soon. It's gonna be crazy. This night barely surviving, but it actually held up a lot better than I thought it might. It needs to run though. Okay, you out. Fortify, buddy. We got a musket man, but he's not gonna make it there in time. Uh, why don't we step you right onto here with the great general? We got our next musket man coming up through the wings. But we can still do damage to the walls like that one and two. It's great to see. These trebuchets are actually putting in good work for them. We got another knight too. I can get him in here. Uh, fortify yourself. Just want to give the defenders more than one option to shoot at so that individual guys don't go down. And look at this. He's trying to make a run for safety. No way, buddy. You're dead. Same deal with the rest of you. Just come back here, man. Where are you going? Where are you going? One and two. A couple of promotions available for my dudes. They're going to need that. Let's get the spies going. Shanghai. Granary, man. Granary all the way. You just got to build and take care of yourself. Yo, I did not notice this, but here's our industrial zone. One, two, three, four, five. Preston will be powered. What if we swap over this tile here and we say, build me something. Why don't you build me? Oh, this is the first land that floods. That sucks. Okay, why don't you build me a campus anyways? See how that goes. We'll go back to the shipyard, but I'll flip back to the campus and I have so much money. I can just spend money and like get campus. Uh, get campus building. Can't just get campus like that. Don't have the fully unlocked Reina. Oh, big damage on my trebuchet from Beijing. Combat strength when defending. Yeah, that's what we want. Uh, and the same thing with this dude, but I'll let him get smacked one time first so that we can get all that health that he's got. Knight, you're gonna pillage one time and move out of the way. This trebuchet's gotta walk up and shoot. Give me your gold trader. Now I'm doing some combine maneuvers down here. Caraval, Great Admiral, and Musketman. Just gotta find a way to get these guys close to the city. I'm realizing though now there's a cliff, so that's not gonna work out. Luckily I've got this general here. If I did not, man, I think it'd be a lot harder. The trebuchets might not be able to walk and shoot. That's been pretty huge so far. Now let me at this harbor, dude. Walk in, pillage, walk out. Next caravel is gonna come through. Just wait next time we'll get a double pillage off. That's gonna be super nice. And I'll try to cut these units off as they try to retreat. We got one archer going down. Crossbowman, another crossbowman. Big damage. I think my guys will survive. I pray. They get promotions, so we'll get them healed back up at full. Whoa, look at how these interesting borders went. Shanghai cutting Jian and Ying Yang in half. Humanism unlocked. We got some theater square things going on. Trebuchet upgrade with the crew weapons. Nice. We fire and we fire once more. Knight, you go walk up to the city. Ask them what's going on. What's good? Oh, I can actually get a musketman around the back, apparently. That's pretty sweet. We do have another musketman with a big health. It's funny, Cyrus of Persia was like, hey man, you're too close to my borders. Like, do you not see what I'm doing here? I'm just pillaging all the stuff. Oh, it's fully pillaged. We can't even pillage this even further. These knights, let me give them the barding, make them a little bit stronger. We're gonna need that later when we go after cities. Then you get something like a tank with barding. It's super hard to stop those guys from destroying you. Check it out though, France still wants to be my friend. I love to see that from these guys. Honestly, I thought that Eleanor was the worst ever and now she's proving herself to be a pretty cool chap. We got a government change though. I don't have too many things I want to upgrade. I mean, that one quadrarium, my whole plan didn't quite work out that well. A little bit embarrassing. It is what it is though. We've got better cards to pop in. Naval infrastructure, that's better. Trade confederation, that's better. Craftsman, like that's nice, man. Here comes a fight in my night, barely survives this. It does though, it does in the end and that's what counts. And it looks like it can run away as far as it needs to. So it's a win. Let me move my trebuchets in range. Okay, one shot, two. And we get three, four guys firing down. Nice. I don't quite have what it takes to finish it right off, but we can get more culture. We can get our knight out to safety and we can take the capital next turn. Get out of here, Germans. Stop, stop, stop. Ah, oh, they'll get off my land one of these days. Next musket man coming in though. Coming over here, chill on the plums. Definitely gonna be pillaging a thing or two over here. University complete in Birmingham. What's next for you, man? What's next? I mean, builders might be kind of smart. We can improve some of these tiles over here in Stoke-upon-Trent, honestly. City's doing really great for itself already, but yeah, some low hanging fruit. This could get a lumber mill. This gets a lumber mill. Over here, we can get a lumber mill. There's a theater square option though. Culture is actually kind of cool. Nah, it's not that cool though. Let's get Builder and uh, get ourselves some production later in the game for production now. Hey man, Renaissance over era over in eight turns. It's been one heck of an era for myself. Liverpool's got a spy. Where do we send this guy? Okay, who has a lot of gold? Well, I have a lot of gold. Oh my gosh, where did I get all this gold? Let's go to Persia though. I feel like that's the best place to go. We can steal a great work from here. What about Ray? Can we steal a tech boost? Yes, yes. Oh, I like this though. A good chance of success with the commercial hub. That'll be a good place to get started on my spying success. Let's go ahead and finish what we started, man. Start off with the pillages because, well, you're not gonna get the pillage when you conquer the city now, can you? One, two, three, and do we need this fourth guy? Oh my goodness, I totally misplayed this. 
My musketman used up all its movement to do that. I can't even capture the city. That sucks. Oh, well, I'll go ahead and fire on it anyways. We'll grab our next turn. With the spy being complete in Liverpool, I finally have a military engineer open. Let's grab this. Oh no, a knight coming up out of nowhere trying to get me here. What I doesn't realize though is I have given up. I don't need to attack the city anymore. I can just focus on attacking it. Give me Beijing. Oh, capital is mine. First capital taken of the game and it belongs to us. And they give me a great person for that. A next admiral, armada out of na military naval unit. Okay, next armadas. I think I should have a frigate coming out quite soon and that's gonna be the contender for this. Wow, Beijing falling a big time with the loyalty. What's the biggest issue here? Cree, okay. So let's send my man Magnus over there. It's gonna help out a wee bit. Get it down to minus eight. Still falling really quick though, oh my goodness. At least the monument's only one turn to repair. Gotta get on to Jiodong. Oh, look at this, we can actually get some pillages out of the Germans too. Better believe we're heading eastward soon, very soon. Look at this, uh, China getting squeezed right now. All right, man, it's not a question of how close can you get your troops? How fast can you conquer Jiodong? This trebuchet down here can go all the way onto this hill. And I swear I should be able to fire from this hill. It's on a hill. It's overlooking Plains Hills, shooting onto a Plains Hills. Hmm, that is quite curious indeed. I swear this trebuchet should be able to fire. There we go, 13 on the defenses. Garrison health, fortification health is quite strong on this bad boy, quite strong. I don't think the siege tower will do me much good, but we do have plenty of trebuchet. Whoa, we're getting infested with these German knights though. 30 damage. Wow, they're really behind our lines though, holy. Good thing about the frigate there, and where is the sea dog? The sea dog's on its way too. Perfect timing for this. Okay, promo available for my trebuchet that took a shot there. Mad respects to this dude. If you move, movement cost on two. Oh, okay, move here. We could promote. We do have another trebuchet that can walk up though. This guy, he's got a little bit of damage on him, but he's close to getting promoted, so I'll move you up. Range attack. Do we go with the second attack here? That's quite ballsy. I think instead we just go with the promotion. Keep it safe. Uh, do a little pillaging there, piss him off, you know. Then we still should be able to fire from here. Yes, there we go. We can fire down 14 damage on the defenses. And this Muscomans damage, you go here. You come all the way up, Mr. Muscoman, up to the holy site. Get all up in their face. And we got one more trebuchet falling up the rear. Thanks for watching, Panda Gang. When I hit 1,000 subscribers, I'm going to actually pay for Windows, so make sure to subscribe. Peace.